Hello beauties, happy fall. I know I have said it uh, in, a, in a video in the past, but I am fully embracing the Halloween spirit. Today is like September 26th, so I think by the time it posts that we will be into October, but we did some Halloween shopping today. We've been packing for the house and all that crazy stuff. But I wanted to do just a quick, really simple fall look. I do have my pumpkin shirt on, if you guys can see that. Can you see it? See it now? All right, cool, I got my pumpkin shirt on. I have, these are like hair things that I got from Walmart on clearance last year. They don't hold my hair at all, so they're kind of falling out. So I have bobby pins in with them too, but like they're also Halloween themed. I have my spooky tree that we got last year and I love. So I thought about doing, um, winged eyeliner today, but I just opted not to. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna do it to myself. So at, at some point I'll do a fall look with some winged eyeliner, but this is not, this is not the time. So I did do a nice dark lip for that fall vibe, but I wanted to use the Fall Feels palette from Tarte. I actually got this in one of the build your own kits that they did a little while ago we posted about. And it's got some really gorgeous, very neutral fall feel colors. I believe it's their collection from last year. I felt like we had a lot we could do and still make it a kind of nice, pretty neutral eye. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this one Hayride on my lid. I'm gonna go in and blend it out with Fall Feels. This will be, uh, Homecoming will be the blending shade all the way up to the top. And then I'm probably going to do apple picking as my glitter pigment today. That's kind of the thing I'm, uh, I'm thinking. I have been packing. Because I've been packing, um, the dust in my room has absolutely killed me. So if I sniffle, I'm so sorry. I also may sneeze. I feel a sneeze coming on right now. That's why I'm warning you guys. Let's jump into it. Let's do this. Really quickly before we get into it, if you like us, we love you guys. So maybe consider joining the Dark Angel family and hit that subscribe button and uh, join our little uh, Dark Angel community here on the face, uh, not the Facebooks, on the YouTubes. That's where we are. We're on the YouTubes. So what am I gonna, oh, wow, that's really light. Huh, not bad, not a bad thing. Just was lighter than I expected. So what are we gonna talk about today, you guys? Well, all I'm thinking about currently is the house. So we're gonna talk about the house. I mentioned I've been packing. I know in a couple videos I've talked about, you know, trying to find furniture and I asked you guys for some help with like trying to figure out where to buy furniture. So here's what the conclusion came to for the studio at least. We're still really searching for bar furniture. That has been the, the hardest thing. Um, we do have to buy a couch. We have to buy the kitchen stuff, the dining room table and the island and all that good stuff too. But I really don't feel like that's gonna be as challenging to find like a, a decent product for a decent price. The bar stuff I'm concerned with. So any tips on bar stuff would love, to, would love. The studio is what I've talked about the most and trying to figure out what to do with the studio. So here's what I've decided will be the best solution for the current time. My parents keep talking because we live, if you guys don't know, if you're if you're new, welcome. Um, if you don't know, we are currently living with my parents. Um, Nikki before quarantine was living with his parents and I was living with my parents while we were in the process of buying a house when COVID happened and quarantine happened in order for us to be able to still film and see each other. He moved in with my family and he's been here ever since. So so our house should be done within like a month or so. That's what we are hoping for, God willing, because we've been waiting a damn long time now. Um, it should be done by like mid to late November is what we're thinking. And so we're trying to like plan and figure out what to do. So part of the process of like, you know, so, so what furniture do we need? What furniture do we have? I asked my parents, I know they, my dad keeps talking, he wants to downsize at some point in the near future. So I keep saying like, you know, well, there's a lot of stuff in this house. So what are we gonna do with it? So I asked like, would you be okay with me taking my bedroom furniture? And because it's nice furniture, it's a full bedroom set and I've had it since I was probably like nine. So it, I will say it's, it's very girly. It's not really what I like. It's definitely not my style now. It's not really something I would ever choose if I had the op opportunity to pick my own furniture. But that being said, it's really high quality furniture and it's not childish. It's just very girly. It's like not really, it's got flowers on it. It's like green and pink. So it's, it's, I mean, it's cute. It's tasteful and it's really well made. So that was, that was part of it. It's just like high quality furniture and whatever we're going to buy right now is going to be like, like 90% like of the furniture that we have coming from our apartment and stuff was like the build it yourself. <laughs> like you, it comes in a box and then you self assemble it. So it's not like real wood. It's like that like cardboard, wood, whatever. So I was like, well, if, they'll, if they're planning on downsizing anyway and they probably will have to get rid of it, I would rather take it with me and have it 
then it end up at Goodwill or something like that. So I just mentioned it like, do you think, you know, that would be something you guys are willing to do. The bedroom set itself, the only part I really don't want is it does have a headboard and it's for a double bed because that's what my bed is currently. All of the beds we're moving into the house are gonna be queen, so we don't really need that. Um, and then I don't really want, there's a mirror attached to the dresser right now. I don't really want it. Like, I don't hate it, I just don't, the, with what I'm planning for it, I just don't feel like it's necessary. If I had to, I would take them both and store it just to keep the full set together. So I, I happen to think like, can I make this work? Can I make this work for my makeup storage? Because what else am I gonna do with it? It's gonna sit in the guest bedroom. And if it sits in the guest bedroom, then that's not gonna work. I was trying to think like, can I use it for makeup storage? Can we use it for the studio? Now just to understand it, it does have, it has a dresser which has a good amount of drawers in it. It has an armoire, a really big, beautiful one um, that has three shelves and two drawers in it. So a really good sized armoire. And then it has a nice side table that has like a little door on it that has like an area to store stuff and it has a drawer. And then it has um, a desk and a chair. And then of course the mirror and the um, the headboard. So what I'm thinking now, I, <laughs> I've spent the last week, why I'm telling the stories because it's what I've been thinking about lately. I spent the last week just reorganizing everything in my room. I did my closet. I got rid of like three bags of clothes from my closet. I completely reorganized my makeup and all of that repositioned everything, changed the way I had my furniture, you know, what my furniture was holding and all this stuff. Just really spent a good amount of time really thinking about how I can make it work. So I'm thinking now, by the way, I'm really liking the palette. It's very easily, easily blended. I feel like the colors are really very neutral, but still very there, if that makes sense. Like it, it's not taking a lot to get them to apply. So far I've gone in with Ball Feels and Hayride, um, and now I'm blending out with Homecoming and I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I think today, my plan is just a little bit different than what I normally do for my makeup. I think that I'm just going to go in and I'm gonna do like, this whole, my whole lid, I'm basically going to cover with concealer and then I'll go in and put, did I say apple picking or pumpkin patch? I can't remember. I think I said pumpkin patch, but I think I'm actually gonna go in with apple picking, which is slightly redder. Still a very nice uh, glitter pigment, but it's just a little bit more red. And I think that's going to really pop on this eye look. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it so far. Very simple, very small palette, just a couple colors in it, but does give you a good variety because you do have that blue and that green in there. And then you have basically all neutral colors. So I am enjoying it and I'm liking what's happening. But yeah, so I'm thinking for the studio, we just use all of my old bedroom furniture as the studio furniture. We use all of my, the armoire, the dresser, the side table, all of that for makeup storage, um, which should do a good amount of, of storage. We've moved everything, basically. I've moved everything. It was fun. I like to organize. I hate to clean, but I love to organize. So it was actually very enjoyable to sit there and do that and reorganize everything and go through stuff and get rid of stuff and pack stuff up and get it ready to go into the house. But we've moved everything. It's worked very nicely. Um, and I think we're gonna use my old desk, which is just kind of like a flat desk, as the filming desk when we move into the house. And then when we have, you know, more disposable income, because we didn't just buy a house and have to buy all this other furniture, then we'll consider getting something a little bit different. But for right now, I think that's the idea, is we're just gonna go with that. Okay, so I've got this all nice and blended in. Really, like I said, I really like the way it's working. Just very neutral, very easy to work with. Um, I will go ahead and say as well, my lip color is from Nude Sticks. It's from their like creators collection that they put out about two or three years ago, I think. Um, I haven't bought a ton from Nude Sticks, but I did buy that when I wanted to first try them and I actually really like it. And this is a really pretty color. I don't wear it very often because it is so dark, but it's very fall. I absolutely love it for the fall. Um, so I'm happy that I actually chose to use this because I feel like it's gonna work really nicely when the eye color is all said and done. Um, and then the rest of my the rest of my like contour and everything, obviously my foundation and, and eyebrows and stuff were different products and I don't, I know my foundation was the LA Girl one. I don't remember what else I used on my face. Sorry guys, sorry. But the rest of it was Tarte products as well. So I used the Princess, the Park Avenue Princess contour palette. And then I used um, Tarteiste Pro blush, like the, what, whatever their second generation of that, that collection was, their blush palette. And I used the highlight, the Tarteiste Pro Glow palette for the highlighter. So all of this was really, I, I try to keep it tart themed today. 
Um, and I love Tarte. The way I've organized, I'm gonna talk about it in another video. I don't know how these will post, but I'm going to talk about, I'm gonna do a haul um, from Michaels and from Dollar Tree. Um, it's either posted or it's going to post. I don't know. <laughs> Nikki decides. Nikki, we just film it and then Nikki decides. But uh, I did buy, I bought a lot of stuff from Michaels, probably more than necessary, but it's okay. Um, a lot of storage containers and um, some stuff like that. And that's how the storage containers are what I've organized my makeup into and in, in the armoire. And then I bought extras so that we would have room to be able to add more as necessary. Because of that, I was able to go through and I, I had it stored in dressers up until this point, until like three days ago. I had it in a dresser that we got from Walmart that was like a build it yourself and now I've got clothes in there. It worked really nicely for a very long time until that was also filled. So I, I know because of the channel and because of who I am as a person, my collection is gonna continue to just expand. It's not like it's gonna get any, any smaller. So I bought extras with the intention of being able to grow into it. But because of that, because of, of how it was stored and now how it is stored, I was able to go through and kind of reorganize and it was pretty well organized in the drawers. I tried to keep all brands like in the same general area. So because of the way I, I had stored it, it was pretty well organized, but still going through and getting to reorganize it always gives me an, a, like a, I know what I have, but I don't at the same time. Like there's definitely a couple palettes that I'll get in like subscription boxes and stuff and I'll be so excited about and then I'll forget about them. And so when I go through and I reorganize my makeup, I get to find those. And so that also happened. One of the ones that I can tell you, I went downstairs and told my mom cause I was like, oh my God. So during the 21 days of beauty, I talked about there are a lot of days I wanted to order and then I was only going to order on a couple because we are trying to save money to move into a house. As much as there's so much makeup Makeup I want to buy. There's so much makeup I want to have for the channel. And it just right now, I just have to time out, time out on the story. Apple, oh my God, hair flying. What the hell is happening right now? Apple picking, that that color that I wasn't sure it was the one that I told you I was gonna go with. I love it, it's gorgeous. Look at, look at this, look at, oh my God, beautiful. I love, I'm so into it. Okay, time back in, time back in. So there's so much makeup that I wanna buy and, and I wanna be able to do for you guys on the channel and, and just have for myself and everything. But it's hard because 2020, I'm just not doing makeup unless it's for the channel. So there's a lot that's just getting neglected anyway. And then we're trying to buy a house and we're trying to buy furniture for the house and we're trying to, you know, we gotta buy, build a fence and we gotta do all this stuff. So it's just like, it, as much as I want to buy new makeup and, and stuff like that, I'm trying to be very limited on the, the what I actually pull the trigger on and spend my hard earned money on. So I wanted to order some palettes from the Zoeva um, collection on the day of, the 21 days of beauty when they did those palettes on sale. I opted not to, because I had just gotten the Karma Melange for $12 from Ipsy when Ipsy did their, um, like their add-ons for the plus, I added that on. That was the only add-on I did. And because I did that, I was like, well, you don't really need any other. Like just, just hold off, just be good. You know, move into the house, get all that situated, and then we can see, you know, what happens on Black Friday and all the Christmas sales and everything and maybe we can pick up some some more then. We'll see, we'll just hold off, just hold off was the whole point. So I'm, I'm reorganizing my makeup and what do I find other than the Zoeva matte palette, which was one of the ones I really wanted to buy. I'm, I think I got it in the BoxyCharm. That's all I can think is that I, I got it in like a BoxyCharm or something like that and I just forgot about it. So doing stuff like reorganizing my makeup is actually something I should do very regularly because I do have those moments where I, I don't, I often remember what I have and like, I know I'm like, oh, I forgot kind of, but I like, I, I knew I had it. Like I don't use it often, but I knew it was there. That was one of those moments where it's just like, it happened once before and we did a video about it was the original, pure festival palette. Um, I almost bought it from Ulta because it was on sale and I was like, oh, it's so cute. I love this, I love these colors. And then I was going through it and that was another one. I know I got it from BoxyCharm. As soon as I found it, I was like, oh yeah, I remember BoxyCharm gave this to me. I was super excited about it. And I almost rebought it. So I'm glad like, <laughs> that was one of those moments like at the time I was like, I should have bought that. Cause I used the Caramel Milan palette and I was like, oh, I love it. I should have bought more of the Zoeva palettes. I was kicking myself and I was like, oh wait, I have another one that I know I haven't used yet. So here we are, because I've, because I've gone through my makeup, hopefully I will be able to pull up 
some more uh, new looks for you guys using palettes that you haven't seen me use before. Very similar um, circumstance as, you know, this, this palette that we're using currently, the, the little tart one that I picked up in the bundle set. I was like, oh yeah, this is precious. And I feel like it's a really good fall palette look, but I just had forgotten that I had gotten it. And so here we are now using it months later. I'm really loving the way this is looking though. It's really pretty. <gasps> I have a gold, I have a gold eyeliner in my bag. Perfect. We'll do a small little gold. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna really look pretty. I love the palette, I really do. It really has created this really nice kind of soft glam look. I'm gonna do some uh, mascara off camera and then we'll convene and we'll see the final look. And yeah, that'll be it. Final look. I'm, I'm very impressed. I really like it. Very cute, nice little simple palette, but I feel like it's got a great, a great range of colors in it. It was super easy to use. I really love apple picking. It did a great job. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Nice, simple fall glam look. I promise I'll do one with winged eyeliner. I just wasn't feeling it today, so best laid plans did not occur today. But I am very happy with it. And as you guys know, I'm so excited this fall. Halloween obviously is my full-time aesthetic. So I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to continue to share the, the house journey with you guys. Hopefully you like hearing about it. I'm sorry if it feels like that's all we're talking about right now. It's literally all we're thinking about. It's just constantly like, all right, what furniture is gonna go in this room? How is this room gonna be laid out? What can we do to make this work? How can we do this affordably? So because it's all I'm really thinking about, it's all I really want to talk about and that's what I'm here to talk about with you guys is like, you know, what's going on in our lives. So that's what it is. If you do like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, uh, subscribe. I know I said that already, but like, please do. We would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family so you can see every time we post content. <laughs> which I want to say is regularly. It is regularly, but like it could be more regular. I'm sorry, guys. I love you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.